Hey YouTube family, it's your girl Cindy. Welcome back to my channel. On this channel, I break down relationship dynamics in real life and on TV. Check out the playlist in my description after this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome and thank you for joining me today. As we kick off Women's History Month, I want to highlight the strong Black woman narrative and share some key takeaways in this video for our community mental health conversation. Before we jump in, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. My usual co-hosts, Dr. Morales and therapist Ro, were unable to join me this month for this discussion, but I recently read an article in the Journal of Human Behavior in the Social Environment called I'm Good, examining the internalization of the strong Black woman archetype by Taylor Gayton. The breakdown was very intriguing, so I want to take a moment to read some of it. The strong Black woman archetype incorporates the infusion of strength, independence, resilience, caretaking, and invulnerability, which forms behavior and self-perception. Rooted in the enslavement of Africans, the characterization of Black women has strongly supported the justification of their mistreatment, while the embodiment of some characteristics was necessary for personal and communal survival. Moreover, this archetype lends itself to obligatory manifestations of strength and suppression of emotion, while simultaneously rejecting vulnerability and dependence upon others. Black women who internalize the strong Black woman narrative often suffer quietly as they work to meet the expectations of their families, professional arenas, and larger social environments. In my opinion, many Black women in America feel pressured to act like superwomen, projecting themselves as strong, self-sacrificing, and free of emotion to cope with the stress of race and gender-based discrimination in their daily lives. As a Black woman myself, I tend to put on my mask each day when leaving home in anticipation of experiencing racial discrimination, and that preparation and anticipation adds to my overall stress. Navigating in the world as a Black woman is very challenging as I deal with microaggressions, blatant racism, and discrimination on a consistent basis. As the saying goes, the most disrespected, unprotected, and neglected person in America is the Black woman, and that is harmful to our physical, mental, and emotional health. Having an intense motivation to succeed while experiencing barriers to achieving that success can be debilitating and discouraging. The strong Black woman narrative impacts many areas of life. It's a challenge in romantic relationships, in the workplace, and in parenthood. I love Black men, but there are many instances where Black men will worship a woman of a different race before they uplift Black queens. And how many Black female CEOs do we see in corporate America? I've held many different positions in several companies throughout my career, and it's rare to see a Black woman in the managerial roles where they have a seat at the table to be a part of the decision making of the company. And it's not because we lack the skills, it really just goes back to racism and discrimination. When it comes to parenthood, we are judged for advocating for our children. I speak from personal experience. I've had to advocate for my daughter on several occasions and nine times out of 10, I am met with resistance or a level of dismissiveness, which is extremely frustrating. As a black mother raising a black daughter, I have to constantly be on alert to be sure she is being treated fairly. And I have to continuously remind her and help her understand as a young black lady, she will have to work harder to achieve her goals in life. And yeah, it's not fair, but it's reality. My blackness and my womanhood go hand in hand. They are not separate. As black women, we exist at the crossroads of both race and gender-based inequality. We experience racism from non-black women who throw their inauthentic solidarity to the wind when we bring light to issues that affect us. We constantly experience verbal and physical assault, harassment, and gaslighting. Breonna Taylor's life was essential, yet she and so many other Black women and girls have been treated as expendable. Black women show up for everyone, but who shows up for us? When it comes to helping, quote unquote, strong Black women or 
quote unquote, fearless black girls in need, it's radio silence. It's time to take the hashtag protect black women to heart and stop letting the world be against black women. Our physical, mental, and emotional health matters and we need to be treated as such. What are your thoughts about the strong black women narrative? Let's continue this conversation in the comments. This is a topic we as a society need to talk more about. Please take a moment to smash that like button and share this video to encourage this conversation to continue. I hope this video was informative and will evoke emotion and change. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye for now.